Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar from BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Today, guys, I have another special review lined up for you. This review is for a product that was sent to me for review by OtterBox, and it is their OtterBox commuter case for the iPad. This is a new case that just came out not too long ago, so I've been testing it out with my iPad. I'm ready to show it to you guys. So let's go ahead and switch it over to the close-up camera, show you the close-ups of it, talk about the details, and what I think about the OtterBox commuter case for the iPad. Let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty guys, so here we have the packaging for the uh, commuter series case for the iPad. So really nice packaging, usual stuff, outer box, yellow and black, really nice box. Included inside the box, eh, they do give you guys some nice little extras, I'm going to show you here. So they include a really big cleaning cloth, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and a huge screen protector to cover the screen, which is very nice. I, I haven't seen too many other iPad cases that include the screen protector. So that's really nice that they throw that in there. Uh, I'm currently testing another screen protector, so I didn't apply this on my on my iPad, but I'm sure it's a really good quality uh, protector. And it also comes with a, uh, a squeegee piece too, so you can make sure that there's no air pockets or bubbles when you're applying the screen shield to your, uh, your iPad. So let's get these out of the way, and let's pull out the, uh, the case here with the iPad on it. So here we go. There is the case right there. Really nice, durable, everything you come to expect from OtterBox, a hardcore plastic case. And so, the, like, like, just like the, 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 uh, the commuter cases for the iPhone, it's basically the iPad is covered with the silicone uh, case or shell, and around that is this plastic shell that wraps around that. Okay, And uh, if you can see here, there actually is a plastic screen protector that's built in there, so that's protecting the back of the logo as well. So let me go ahead and show you the accessibility. And uh, kind of talk about my pros and cons of this case. Okay, so accessibility-wise, everything is uh, pretty pretty accessible. Standby switch is right there. It's covered up, but it has a, you can still feel the click. You can hear that there when you're uh, playing around with it and pushing that down. No problem there. The uh, the uh, the headphone jack is covered up here with this little uh, rubber stopper here. So no, uh, I guess no water or anything, any kind of like mist or spray won't get in there and mess with the headphone jack. But it does leave a hole there for the microphone. So that's covered up. Go over on the side, we have a rotation switch here, open switch there, and easy to get to. And that's the silicone piece, so it's pretty soft, you don't have to work your finger in there. The volume up and down, still has that, that uh, feedback, that little click, so you can click through it still, no problem with there at all. Go to the bottom here, we have our home button, and that's not being covered up or anything, this thing comes right to the edge of that. And we have our speaker, which is a nice big opening, and then our dock connector is being covered up. So let's get to my first, uh, my first negative about this case. This is the case for the iPad here. So in order to charge up, sync up your iPad to your computer, you have to remove this every single time. And uh, I didn't think that was gonna be a big deal, but it got really, uh, I, want, I guess I could say annoying after a while to continue to have to pop it off, put it back on, pop it off, put it back on, you know, sleep, put it next to the bed, leave it charged in. If you lose, oops, sorry, if you lose track of this, then you're gonna have this big hole in the bottom here. So the good thing about this is that when it's off, you can use the dock, the, the iPad dock with this to dock it, you know, with the, uh, with with your cable with your dock but for me i don't use a dock i just use the uh, the 30 pin connector so i really really wish that they would have put a cutout on the bottom here just like they did the cutout for the the speaker i wish it was a cutout so that way i wouldn't have to remove this panel i could just leave it on since i don't use a dock I, and, I don't, and then i would never have to take it off and it would just be an opening on the bottom here i could just put my plug into it and i'm good to go and it always stays in the case that's the one thing i'd like to see change about this piece right here okay so let's get switch over to the back here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a raised edge, but not by much. So when you're typing, you're doing your you're using the keyboard, or playing games, or whatever. There's not any kind of an issue with that at all, because especially since the screen comes to here anyways. But uh, you know, it does have a lay of the table type of design. So if you put it face down, it's not touching the the glass or the screen or anything at all. So that's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Negative two, guys. The only other thing I would like to see change about this. This is really hard to get onto your iPad. Um, I was going to film this review with the case in the box, take the, you know, take the case out of the box, put the iPad in it, but I've had so much trouble getting my iPad in here that I didn't want to waste, you know, 20 minutes of you guys watching me try to shove this case onto here. It's really, it's really difficult to get on, I'll be honest with you. I've only done it a few times, so I haven't had that much practice, but I think if you guys are, are the type of person that switches out your cases a lot with your iPad, just depending on your mood, uh, you may get, you may get kind of tired of having to put this on it because it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, so I figured, you know what, let me try to take it off, and uh, then that way I can show you guys, you know, the ins and outs of the actual separated pieces by themselves. So let me pop off this bottom here. Hopefully this video doesn't take me 20 minutes to <laughs> remove this thing. Pop this off. So 
But I guess that could be a good thing as well as too. You know, it's not going to accidentally just pop off of your iPad if you were to drop on the floor or anything. It's going to keep it uh, pretty well. Pretty, so it's going to stay on there. It's going to stay put really well. Let me see here. Am I removing this right here? Oops, wait, wait. You know what? I'm doing it the wrong way already. From the bottom first. So the hard part about this is it's so snug, and the back of it has, has like a, shape, a certain shape to it that uh, it's kind of tough to, to bend it. It's just like so stiff. And I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to break it right now, and I don't want to break it. I would like to give this away to a lucky winner eventually on the website. And I think actually, and I think actually putting it on might be actually a little bit easier than taking it off. Like I said, I've only had to take it off, um, man, maybe three or four times, to be quite honest with you, just because it's uh, really difficult to pull off. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's free. Okay, so there's the back, back piece of that. And so here we have the silicone wrap that goes around it. Let's pop this off. So there we go. And there we have it. So this is the silicone piece right here. Good quality silicone. Autobox always, always uses good silicone. I hate cheap silicone tack. Those tacky, sticky cases that some companies use. So really soft silicone. It still does attract a little bit of dust and lint uh, from time to time, but nothing big. And especially since the big plastic pieces on the back of it. So here we have the silicone piece here. That's what wraps around the, the iPad. And then you have this piece that clips onto there. And like I said, built-in screen protector for the uh, for the logo on the back. So guys, this case retails for $64.95, 65 bucks, uh, which is a little up there in price. But uh, you know, you're definitely going to get really good protection for your iPad. I have no doubt if I was to drop my iPad while it's in this case, that as long as it hits the back or the sides or the corners, I, I doubt that it would do any type of damage whatsoever. I have that much trust and faith in OtterBox's products. Um, but I'll let you guys decide whether or not you feel $65 is worth it. Um, and that's going to be it for me today, guys. Hopefully, you found this review helpful. Please post a comment below and let me know. And if you guys happen to own this product yourself, why don't you tell me what you think about it? I've only been testing this for about a week or so, maybe two weeks. And uh, that's kind of been my experiences with it, but I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. So post a comment below either on YouTube or on buymeaniphone.com. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next review. Till next time.